this is a special group so this group everyone um basically uh continue this training with me possibly sometimes maybe different colleague uh other consultant um but this group is consists of people who are planning to uh, complete the expert level uh but it, it probably what my understanding you don't have prior knowledge or you want to learn from the very basic um level of ninja script so i reckon it's going to take between um 9 to 12 months depending on you know if there is any um gap in the training or any emergency but normally we don't miss any weekend so at any point as i say previously if you have any question please do uh, ask me on the chat i will try to answer them uh during the session uh but also i will try my best to give you uh some time at the end of the session if you have still have got any question uh, remaining let's start with our training so this is the beginner level uh ninja script program training so first thing first this is not a c sharp or any other you know computer lang you know programming language course or training so this is a little bit special which is like we may take some concept from uh c sharp and also we will um you know integrate those knowledge um into ninja script programming at any point um if you think i i you know i told you something and you couldn't uh, you know understand please do let me know on chat and i will repeat myself because i want you to understand because if you don't understand in the future in in other you know sessions uh, you may struggle and also probably i will struggle to make you understand so i want to keep it very slow uh you know very comfortable for you uh so that you understand all the concept we will discuss so for this beginner level um our focus as i said previously is going to be basics of ninja script program for ninja trader 8 um and also we will include you know the c sharp knowledge which only required for ninja script programming okay and also we will discuss about during this entire you know beginner level that how to you know break an idea into logics and conditions so uh because if you if you if you become a uh, you know ninja script uh, programmer like a uh, professional then probably your clients um are going to you know just tell you an idea but okay so that's the indicator that's what my indicator should do or uh you know that's my strategy that's my plan um so you need to break them down into different logics or conditions if you needed to or you can ask your client but if it's just for you especially you know after you finish your beginner level you should be able to program uh you know your indicator or your strategy by yourself uh however having said that it it will be you know very basic ones but it still you should be able to do that so if you have got some idea about you want to you know um program your own ninja trader eight indicator strategy we will also cover that how to start and how to program that uh, at this beginner level what i will do as we are setting up the environment so we will quickly go to um ninja trader eight platform and we will uh set up the workspace for this trading course if you know how to you know open ninja trade ninja script editor uh if you could you know bring your editor on, on your um screen and probably to be honest it is just i have set it up for this training session uh but you don't have to follow my layout you can do uh any way you like uh but i think for this uh, training this kind of setup is going to be quite helpful for you after you have click on that your uh visual studio should look something like this uh, this is going to be our next um weekend session but um we will learn about different variables you know different operators like 
how to use the assignment operator, you know, different other conditions, um, different types of data types. So we will also cover um, like errors in NinjaScript, the concept that is very important, how, you know, uh, everything has got advantages and disadvantages like errors and also the most important part we will try to use them with practical example that is very important with uh, in programming i'm not using any any technical words technical definition technical name when i'm i'm basically informing you about this kind of stuff because i want to keep very simple uh, I, I'm not using any, you know, jargon for you so that you understand and also uh, the concept needs to be very much clear uh, for your programming. So I will try to avoid all those, you know, um, difficult glossaries, difficult terms. I will try to rather keep it very simple so that uh, all of us, we understand here. Dictionary, it's not, the, you know, the dictionary we normally use a book, it is, but dictionary is the concept the fundamental concept of dictionary is kind of similar when we will discuss in the future then we will learn about you know the dictionary how to use them and also how to use them in your ninja script programming the concept of for each loop is um, something we normally use quite often for uh, programming we will also work on a for loop as well it means while i'm doing this i can do something else so this is very simple version of while loop explanation but that is kind of give you the idea um, about the while loop but i as i said previously i want to keep it very simple very basic at this stage for this uh a beginner level so that your concepts are clear you understand you know how uh, these things work and why we need to use them and also uh, we will talk about you know switch so we will um, look into you know uh, how to create class and properties and uh, you know how to use them in the programming um, we will learn how to structure custom methods um, why these methods needs to be created and why we need to use them and the difference between different types of methods Access modifiers and constructors, this looks like very difficult name or the terms at the moment, but trust me, when we will go and learn about these uh, topics, it will make more sense to you. Uh, but as we said, we will go very slowly so that all of you guys understand uh, what it is, uh, how to use them, where to use them, how to make them. We will cover everything. This if a statement it will basically help you with um, your logic and your conditions, which you know from the plan you are breaking down different logics and conditions. And this if statement um, concept we will you know will help you to uh, convert those logics and conditions into uh, the programming language, programming codes. Exception handling is very useful because as a programmer for you, you will need to, you know, be a little bit of um, proactive to understand what are the problems your indicator or your strategy is going to face in the future when you try to use them. And before, you know, before it shows, you know, those kind of error, you need to address those kind of issues and you need to handle those uh, so that when you know when you use those indicators or strategies um, on uh, you know on your live account or you know even on market replay you know you are protected your you have already handled all those kind of scenarios where any kind of exception uh, may occur and we will convert those logic and conditions into you know a code and with all of you guys we will program that and also we'll test it um, you know and how to debug them how to fix uh, you know any kind of if there's any kind of error and then we will complete the script and we will send you that script so that you can you, you can practice at home 
or you can use it or for your future reference so that is going to be the day when you will uh, custom program your indicator custom program your strategy because whatever we have learned uh, prior to that that will help you and that will enable you to custom program your strategy where basically we will um, you know review whatever we have learned during the entire level uh, of this course and also if you have any kind of you know questions um, we haven't answered or if you need any 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 topic a little bit more clarification or any other question you may have or you can say hello um, that's absolutely fine we will keep the whole session just to do that perfect it looks like everyone has completed so far up to this level so after you have done this bit you can see there is a steric sign on after this dot cs if that is shown that means you have made the changes but you haven't compiled it can you see that in in that ninja script output window practice print method so now let's go to the chart and now this time as you can see previously we had practice print method now if you right click reload ninja script and this time it will show my name is and then your name i will keep it very simple uh because so that you understand um what needs to be done to learn this this is a long-term journey i will be with you guys for almost like six to nine months or for some people maybe nine to twelve months so it has to be understanding in both ways so that is the end of today's session and hopefully uh see you guys uh next week on 24th of october 1 pm um bst bye for now guys bye bye